What is going on all my collectors? Welcome to the West Collects YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching, consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing that notification bell, and smashing the like button. I definitely would appreciate it. Welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at three new Funko Pop pickups to start off 2022. But before we get into today's video, I want to take the time out to say thank you to everyone who has sent good well wishes over my way. If you don't know, uh... I tested positive for COVID. I'm currently dealing with that right now as we speak, but I am feeling much better than I was when I first found out the results from my tests. And it's just been a little rough these past couple of days, you know, just mainly been in the house, not going outside, staying away from people, staying away from my family. I've been on one side of the house, my family been on the other, quarantining here in the studio. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who reached out, who checked up on me, whether it was on Instagram, whether if you sent me a personal text to my phone, you know, or even off the short video that I posted here up on YouTube. So thank you guys for checking up on me. I do appreciate it. Like I said before, I am getting much better as the days go on. Uh, and it's no joke out there. I did everything that I was supposed to do when I was out and about. You know, and I caught this while I was at work. Just, that's how it happened to be, man. That's how it happened to me. You know, just trying to do my job. I work at the airport. Um, and I believe somebody that I work with contracted it and brought it inside the workplace. Didn't say anything. And so, people like me was the ones who got caught with it, you know. And now, here I am dealing with it right now. But I am doing much better. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody out there who have wished me well. Now, let's go ahead and show these Funko Pops that is now added to my collection. First Funko Pop comes straight from GameStop. Matter of fact, all of these come straight from GameStop because I caught that end of the year sale. Some some of these things was like 30% off, so I could not pass. And then there was also a two-pack that I wanted really bad. I had it on pre-order, but GameStop was taking forever. I want to say at least three months. This has been supposed to be released, but it hasn't. And then all of a sudden, it goes on sale on their website. And I wind up picking it up off there. And we finally got it in the mail today. So the first Funko Pop we're going to be looking at is Courage the Cowardly Dog. Check him out. This is definitely one of those cartoons I grew up watching. Uh, not one of my favorites, but I did watch it from here and there, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, so it was a good cartoon. Uh, they say that he's a coward, but he had a lot of courage, man. This dog right here went through ups, downs, all types of trials and tribulations in that cartoon. And, you know, for him to be so small... It was definitely a funny cartoon. I advise those who have not watched it yet, please give it a watch. You will like it. You know, there's it, it some humor to it. And Funko did not disappoint as far as features is concerned with this Funko Pop right here. Everything is down packed. They even got the hole in its tooth, as you can see right there. So that definitely looks dope. And I must say, this is very, very light. This is a very light Funko Pop. Even when I took it out of the box to do the B-roll for you guys, um, just having it in hand on the stand, very light, very light Funko Pop right here. It doesn't weigh anything. Check out the side of the box. And here is the rest of the set that you can collect on the back as well. As you all know, I have Dexter, I have Dee Dee, I have Johnny Bravo. Now I've added Courage to the collection. All I am missing is cow and chicken, and I am on the fence about picking those two up. If I do pick those two up, that will make a complete set, and I will be done with this series of Funko Pops. But I think I'm not going to, because I'm not a huge fan of cow and chicken. Like, I like Courage because I watched them coming up, you know, and I remember some of the episodes uh, from when I used to watch it on TV or whatever the case may be, but I don't really remember too much from Coward, uh, Coward, <laughs> from Cow and Chicken, so... 
Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you went ahead and added courage to your collection. And if so, uh, how much did you pay for it? For me, this was originally $11.99. With that sale that went on, it was $9.99. So it took off a few dollars, which is always good. And then my order was free shipping, express shipping as well. This next Funko Pop I'm going to show you guys is Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. Check that out. What if Zombie Hunter Spidey? He definitely looks dope. I like it. This is why I grabbed it. Wanted to add it to my collection. I love the features about this Funko Pop right here. As we all can see, he has on Doctor Strange's cape. And he has on his uh his gauntlets on, on his wrists. So you can see that right there. So I haven't been keeping up with the What If series on Disney. I need to... Get back into it, uh, watch some more episodes, you know, see exactly how did this tie into him being a zombie hunter. But it kind of self-explanatory. It's already telling you that he's out there hunting for zombies. So that's already one thing I already uh, put together as far as that episode might be concerned. Please leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you added this Spider-Man to your collection. And if so, is you collecting the rest of the What If line as well? Check out the side of the box. Definitely love the box art. Here is the back, the rest of the set that you can collect. For me, only other one I might collect, um, considering, is Scarlet, and that's about it. I did see uh, Zombie Falcon in store. You know, it looks nice. I saw it at Best Buy, actually. Uh, and Zombie Iron Man, seen that at Walmart, the 10-inch version. You know, they, they some dope-looking Funko Pops, but I'm not going after all of those, so, you know. One to get Spidey. Why? Because we just got finished watching a new Spider-Man movie, which is dope. And I'm pretty sure everybody by now has seen the Spider-Man movie. So, I wanted to add this one to my collection. You know, Bray hasn't saw this yet. We're going to keep that shh on the hush, you know, until I can get him another one. And then I pull this out and then give him his. Because once I show him this, he's going to be like, can I have it? It's mine. And I'm like, nah, this is daddy's. This is for my collection, you know. So, yeah, one more look at Zombie Hunter. Spider-Man. Now, this last Funko Pop that I'm going to show you guys is a two-pack. This is the Batman and Joker two-pack. Check that out. GameStop exclusive Batman and Joker from the Batman movie 1989 starring Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. This right here was what kicked me off with Batman, you guys. Coming up as a kid, this was the Batman that I watched alongside the one that came on uh, TBS Channel 13. You know, with the bang, the pow, the zoom, the old school Batman. Before this one, where he drive the old school car and all that, all the uh, classic and all that, that I used to watch that on Channel 13. And then when this movie came out right here, this was the first Batman movie that I watched. So after that, I love Batman. After that, I wanted everything Batman. I used to bug my mother like, "Ma, I want to go to the store. I'm gonna go get a new Batman toy," and she used to get it for me. You know what I mean? And then uh, when McDonald's used to have their Batman specials, "Ma, I want to go to McDonald's. I want to go get the Batman cups and the Batman uh, Happy Meal." And everything Batman. So this one right here, I waited for a while. I had to jump on pre-order. And it was like it was just sitting at the warehouse. You know, it wasn't moving. And then all of a sudden, I check online and it's on sale. So I called GameStop. I was like, guess what? Cancel my pre-order. You know, 
uh, you guys are taking too long. I could get it faster offline. And they was trying to convince me in the store. Like, no, you can't. No, you can't. It'd just be better if you just keep your pre-order with us and we'll get it here before you get it in the mail. Well, here it is. I got it faster than getting it from you guys. You know what I mean? So, no, that's not true, you know. But I waited so long, I almost was about to get my money back for this. And if it hadn't been for that sale, then, you know, I probably would have gotten my money back because I was tired of waiting. But this is definitely a dope two-pack, man. I remember when I first seen uh, a fellow collector post this on an Instagram page. I can't think of his name right now. But when he posted it up and I texted him immediately like, yo, how you get that? And he was like, oh, it got mailed out to me. And I was like, what? So I immediately called GameStop like, what's going on with my pre-order? Oh, it's stuck at the warehouse. I said, okay. And so, yeah, here it is, man. Love everything about this two-pack right here. This is a definitely dope two-pack one that you need to add you need to grab and add to your collection if you are a batman fan if you are a joker fan feel me check this out man they did these features great justice definitely dope look at joker with his little pinstripe uh pants on and his suit and he got his little uh flower as as a little pin and that kind of looked like jack nicholson too you know them features is definitely dope, man. Definitely dope. I like how they got the little background in the back. As you can see, it's part of the little skyline or whatever the case may be. I should have took some shots of that. I forgot to. My apologies, everybody. But yeah, just take a look at this two-pack, man. Definitely dope. Definitely something to add and grab to your collection. Here's the back of the box. And this was well worth the wait, man. Well worth the wait, in my opinion. It's nothing like starting off the new year with a new... Batman added to the collection So please leave a comment down in the comment section Let me know if you picked up this two-pack and if you did how much did you pay for it for me? I paid $16 this originally cost you like 20 something dollars 22 dollars something like that This came out to $16 because it had sale So I wound up saving money on this pack like I wanted to I didn't really want to pay that initial price Still got some GameStop rewards that I could use you know and one last look at Batman and the Joker from the 1989 Batman movie. <sighs> that is going to conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you already know what to do. If you haven't slapped that like button on the way in, be sure to smash that thing on the way out. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing with your life? Go ahead and press that subscribe button. Come join the community. Be part of the family. We're going up all 2020. All 2020. All 2022. <laughs> We're going up, baby. We're going up. We're going up. So, nothing but the sky's the limit from here on out, y'all. As I said before, I'll say it again. Thank you to everybody who wished me well wishes. I am feeling much better, but I am not around the curve just yet. I am still sick, still battling this thing. But one day at a time, I will get through it. I will be back to 100%. I will be back to my original self. I feel good. You know, so that's always a good thing. I catch you guys in the next video. Everybody have a blessed day, a blessed night, and I'm out of here. Peace.